Hey, it's Joe Lyon from Automator, and I was just working on some code for a client and realized, hey, you know what? There's no reason for me to be building this the way I am. I can simplify this a bit. Let me jump into the code. But this is an example of using functions and how I take things, I write them out, and then adapt after I've written it. And I know if Isaiah was here, he would take this to the next level and make it even simpler. But for our purposes, I'm gonna I'm gonna just make it a little simpler. So what the client wanted to do was to have one hotkey, and regardless of what program I'm in, either Excel or Word, um, take the selected text, change the font to Times New Roman in size 12. Now, um, I wrote the code out and got it working in each one of those, and what I realized was, you know what? This, th these things, this is all the same here, right? Like, this, this is all the same. Uh, so, there's no reason for me to have these broken out separately. So, the first thing I would do which is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to copy this thing. I'm just going to show you guys very, you know, step by step. So I'm going to move all this because I hate losing, if I've already written something, I don't want to lose it entirely. So I'm going to copy all that down there. Um, now the first one, if, if Word is active, do this. Great. That works great. This is what I can just delete this one. Um, else, if it's Excel, do this. Now this is where that should end. I'm gonna get that. Now here, all I did was I said, hey, if if word is this, get and this is the function that actually Zay has helped adapt of to get the uh, the cur currently active instance of that com object, get the handle to it. Um, and then here, we're just gonna change this to where instead of saying, oh, and let's just do cross here. OBJ. So now, regardless, right, um, it's using this handle. It, it was the same in both of these. So now my script, it's just a little simpler, right? If it's Word is the active thing, do this, which these are the controls. This is the control and the class for each one. Uh, regardless, return a pointer, an active pointer to the current file, and then throw that into this, which was the same in both of them. Get the handle, and now let me see if I can... Uh, let me bring over Excel. Now, I haven't tested this, right? I was just realizing I should do this. Let me change control one I know is that. So font, I'll make it some weird font. Oh, that is horrible. Actually, let's make this really big. There we go. And then in Word, and I'm gonna also increase that like crazy and change that font. To this right now I need to save this and relaunch it oh uh oh called a non-effect function oh I'm an idiot this this is um, let me there we go so this is a uh, the function I'm using that I had mentioned earlier that Isaiah had created where we um, did that so that is the function we need so I launched it okay no errors um, so Let's go back to Excel and let me get the word up here as well. Here we go. Now I'm gonna be in here, highlight some text, hit my hotkey. Look, Times New Roman 12, come over here to Excel. Times New Roman 12, right? So one hotkey works the same in both programs. It detects what program I'm in and will apply that to whatever is selected programmatically, I mean, I'm not sending keystrokes, right? That's the most, by far the most important point. This is, this could be, I think, optimized even more where we, we provide this and these as parameters. And that way it would just be even a little simpler, but I, for, for my purposes, I think this is fine, right? It's very clear, I'm freeing up the object at the end, just in case, so we don't have any memory leaks. But yeah, hope that helps. Again, functions are amazing. You can learn in our intro to auto hotkey course is we, we cover the intro to functions and then our objects and classes course, Isaiah's recovers some of the old function stuff, and then takes it way deeper into objects, which we touch on op using objects here in classes, but um, not really, right? This is mostly just you just using functions and why this is just a little bit simpler than the other code, right? A little bit easier to maintain and how I could easily adapt this, especially if it's another, like if maybe it was Outlook was selected or something, right? Or PowerPoint probably, um, probably follow something very similar and why not just repurpose the code and make it really easy. What I also could do is I might bring these two things and put them up near the top and that way 
the client if they want to you know easily edit them they don't have to go search it's just right there but yeah i hope that helps cheers